What's up, y'all? This is J. Cole. The Rock is in the building. And Carolina in the building. And you already know I'm rocking with my man Bootleg Kev. And you are now logged on to bootlegkev.com. Can y'all do the little thing where it's like bootlegkev.com? Bootleg, bootleg, Kev. Hot 975 blazing today's hottest music, man. In studio right now with me, I got my dude J. Cole. You Faded. already know. Faded. Rock Nation artist in the building. Faded. Faded right now? What's I your drink of choice? Um, Henny. Uh, Henny a lot of times, as of late. I left it alone for a while, but I, I came back home. You ever messed with four locos? Man, never. <laughs> and I've been hearing about it for so long. You just gotta get one before they ban them. I know, that's what I keep hearing. I feel like if I've been good, I'm good. Like, I got you. If I ain't hit it by now. Yeah, you'll be all right. I'll now, be straight. Um, we were just talking, man, about about basketball. I know you, you know, you're a big basketball dude, man. Yeah. And you say you're a Penny fan. All the way. No so longer in the NBA. So what's your team now? What's my team? I rock with the Lakers because I'm such a Kobe I fan. I rock with the Lakers. Oh, can I not say that out here? Oh, we in Vegas. Yeah, I they rock with the Lakers. Lakers. I don't, I'm a Suns fan. You oh, know. Yeah. yeah. I was a Suns fan. Shout out to all everybody in Phoenix. I was a Suns fan from, what, 99 to 2002, 2003. Just because Penny came, Penny, Jason Kidd. When Amari first came, I was a big you know, a big Suns fan, most man. Definitely, but most definitely. It's how it happens when your favorite player uh, bounces around. Being from uh, you shout know, out to Don Wiggins, from North Carolina, uh, you, did you kind of feel like that was like a disadvantage? You know, to, to, to trying to get to where you are now, um, where you're from. Not necessarily. Like, I know you moved to New York, which probably helped. Yeah, I wasn't like, man, I'm from Fayetteville. This is a disadvantage. It was more like I saw what it was. Right. I saw that the reality was that it was hard to get on. Right. From Fayetteville because I seen my mentors, who to me were the best. Like, mm -hmm. they were the best in my eyes. I like, man, if they can't get on, I'm no good here. I gotta go there right. and shine in front of you know. In my eyes, I have been shining everywhere I went, rap wise. So if I went to New York, it wouldn't be no different. Yeah, yeah. Being from uh from you know North Carolina was um I know Drake's a big little brother fan. You know, was, was little brother a, a big you know artist for you? Yeah, you know what? Brother. When little brother hit the scene, I was already about 18 years old. We headed to college. Right. When they first dropped the listening, um, and that was still big for me because to see anybody from your state. In double XL, yeah, they was in double XL. Right. They had a great rating on their album, so to see that gave me so much motivation. And I went and did some beat battles up in Raleigh, or, or Chapel Hill, or whatever. Ninth Wonder was DJ, and Fonte was there. So just seeing that as a little, as a little eighteen year old was more motivation. Like man, see, right? And, you know what, and what a lot of people don't know is that you make you make beats. You're a producer. Yes, you know, were, you, were you a producer first? No, I was a rapper first. Rapper from twelve. And then once I couldn't find nothing to rap on other than Nas instrumentals and like <laughs> Timbaland instrumentals, right. I was like, man, let me um, let me start making my own beats. Most definitely. Um, when it comes to like like making beats um, for the album, are you gonna are you gonna handle a lot of it yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if the album was to drop tomorrow, I have about what 80 80 percent of the production. Um, and you know it's. That's just how it's happened so far. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. But so far, I got the, the strong majority of the production on the album. What, what do you use? Like, what, what tools do you use when you Right now, I'm on. I don't want to give them no free publicity. But shout out to Logic. I use Logic. I started out on the ASR, though. The ASR this is some, this Pro. This is some hip-hop geek stuff right now. Yeah, this is hip-hop producer okay, geek stuff. So I started out on the Red Monster, which is the ASR X Pro. Like, Kanye uses the ASR 10 and... Right. Uh, Alchemist uses the ASR-10, but I was using the machine. I was more like the MPC, so I was using that. And then I moved to Reason like six years after that, and then just about a year ago, I converted over to Logic just, you know, just for whatever that's, reason. That's what's up, man. And, and what's cool about that, too, is, you know, then you ain't got to pay nobody to, for beats, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, another thing I was going to ask you, man, is, there, is it possible, I had Nas up here uh Maybe like three or four months ago, and he couldn't stop talking about like how, like how much he loves your music. Wow! And because uh, I'm a big, I'm just like Nas. Man. Nas is my dude, man. And uh, I was just wondering, has, has, has there like been any dialogue between you? Because I know you guys, you know, a lot, a lot of people compare you to Nas. Absolutely. Which isn't what? a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's an incredible Most thing. Um, it's not, you know, it's not even don't even sound right to me because Nas is another stratosphere. But there has been some dialogue when I when I met him and I tried to give him like extra props like I tried to like bow down in his presence of course and he kind of wouldn't let me because he was like man I'm a fan of yours Most which definitely. I was like come on this is crazy like no nah, you can't be a, it's impossible yeah. for you to be a fan of mine Most definitely. <laughs> that doesn't work like that you know that was you know that was kind of what was I'm man that'd be an amazing uh, collaboration Absolutely. if it ever happened I would man. love to uh, man I'd do a whole album with Nas man that would be 
like Jay and uh, and Kanye are going to do the, the, the Watch the Throne. Yeah. Well, once you get up on that left, man, that would be amazing. Yeah. If y'all did like a little six song free EP man, for the internet. I'm winning. I'm winning. Whenever, whenever Nas is ready, I'm ready. And as far as uh, out, the album is concerned, um, I, you know, we're talking kind of off the air. You keep switching up the album because, you know, it happens a lot with people's debut albums. Yeah. Um, right now, is there anybody you, you can you can talk about being on the album? Or who you uh, nah, like, honestly, I can't. It's like, I remember getting this question a year ago to this day. And people ask me, like, man, any features? And I was like, nah, no, no features. Yeah. Maybe it'll change. And to this date i got more songs and better songs but still no features so. hey and props to you man i forgot to bring this up hey man on the looking for trouble you ah. you murdered that that was incredible i appreciate man. you man and Thank i you heard very that much. you kind of like it was kind of like on the fly like it was on the fly it. it was on the fly it was a uh, i learned in the past week or so it was like a failure of communication yeah um so when i actually found out kanye called me and was like yo i'm trying to put this out today and you're like, whoa. I'm like, oh, man, I didn't know that. All right, well. well let me go. go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, you were, you were rapping with Kanye on that song. Uh, who else was on it? Uh, Pusha T. Yep. Pusha. Sean. Sai High, Sean. And you, uh, not, you know, most respect to all of them, but you definitely yeah. murdered it. Uh, more thank than you anybody. very much. I appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to get you to spit some for us, man, because people who don't know about J. Cole, man, this is one of my favorite MCs. This dude's so nice right now. I appreciate it. So man. nice. Let's rap something. I've always wanted... I haven't heard hey. you personally rap over anything off Illmatic. I asked on Twitter hey. uh, what, what they wanted to hear y'all... What, what they wanted to, to hear you say yeah. over. Everybody said something off Illmatic. So, hey, let's try something. Let's do that, man. Let's drop that, uh, that, that New York State of Mind, son. J. Cole, oh, Top 975. Let's get it. Don't have me disgrace this. <laughs> hey. Henny and Coke. Henny and Coke. Don't do me like that. Straight out the dungeons of rap. Fake niggas don't make it back. Hey, hey, uh, gossip from those that barely knew my name. I guess they figure I changed with this new fan fame or this new damn chain. I'm in a new damn lane. Now my money taller than Shaq stacked with two yeah mains. But never mind them haters, girl. I won't bring you round lanes. Rather bring you round hoes. Let you meet Bron James. Sit you up in VIP and let you sip champagne. Watch some jealous hoes peeking, man. They just can't hang. If that's the issue went to, this life is funny. Cause despite the money, nothing stops the rain for par in life. Ain't always bright and sunny. Nothing stops the pain. You just ignore it and keep fighting, honey. So much drive, ain't no cop allowed. Can Take my license from me. I'm swerving on them. Fast lane, fame, now nah, lifestyle. Foot down on the gas, man. Passport's tight now. I'm leaving on the last plane. Barley was my first love, so you can't have my last name. Oh! <laughs> I say Barley was my first love, so you can't have my last name. There oh. it is, man. There it is. Jake, oh, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Man. I'm surprised hey, man, I made tonight, it through that one. Performing live all the way over at Hayes. Uh, hey, yes. Now, now I know Vegas is a little different sometimes. You know the, the sets are a little bit short. Are you gonna do like like a regular show? Nah, I, I thought I was until yesterday. They told me like I'm I'm really hosting a party. Right. I'm doing like three or four songs. So, there but, it is. but we'll still have a lot of fun. Y'all come out and party with me. Um, I'll make sure. I'm really supposed to do three. I'll try to sneak about four or five songs <laughs> in there. Sneak some in. Yeah, try to sneak some in, man. I got a lot of love for Vegas. I'm glad I could finally make it out. And the mixtape is out. Uh, Friday Night Lights. Go Friday download Night that. Lights, man. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where our numbers is at. We so strong in the, in the downloads department. And thank you. I, you know what? I don't think a lot of people get thanked enough to put out free music. Oh, man. Thank, thank you, you for that. Yeah, nobody thanks. Thank <laughs> you man, for all three of the mixtapes. Thank you very much, You know, man. I know the internet has kind of changed the way people have to do things. And, you know, Absolutely. I know you guys work hard on, on the music and to put it out for free. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Most you for definitely. Hey, you, why don't we get into um, a song on Friday Night Lights right now? You can finally hooked up with Drake. You know what I'm uh, saying? Ah, yeah. This is... A, In the morning. This is so crazy. The song is great. And the ladies love it, too. The <laughs> ladies love J. Cole, man. I just found this oh, out. Like, man. I knew, but... Man, they're on Twitter, we're blowing up all these females. <laughs> I'll take it, man. Keep let's, them coming. Let's get into it. Why don't you introduce that for us, man? Man, Vegas, I appreciate y'all. Ladies, I appreciate y'all. And even fellas, I feel like the fellas really rock with this song, too, because they can relate. Yes. But this is uh, J. Cole featuring Drizzy Drake in the morning. Hey, thank yeah. you for coming through, J. Cole. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> 